Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to start unpacking because we moved home yesterday and absolutely nothing has been unpacked. We really need to get cracking. I'm in the kitchen right now, there's a hell of a lot of boxes. I did I think actually unpack one or two boxes yesterday but there's so much more to do. I haven't even put the beds up or anything so over the next couple of days I'm just going to be filming me putting things up george is with my mum today i am here i've got my coffee and i'm just gonna start because oh there's just so much to do like you forget about this side of it you f you think about packing you think about moving you think about all of that and then you forget that at the other end you've got so much to do as well so it's like we've done the first start of it we've moved we left the other house we've given the other house back and now we've just got loads of unpacking to do but we're getting there. Um, the house isn't in too much of a bad state. Our tenants moved out and I booked a cleaner to come in. So the house is like clean, but there are things that have like been damaged and things that we do need to fix um, along the way. So that's all fine. But I think I just want to get things into a state where I can move back in properly because I stayed at my parents last night. Um, have like the beds up, all of the, the clothes are out, all like the things in the kitchen are out and then yeah that's yeah we can do everything else incrementally i think i'm just going to put you guys on a time lapse i'm going to put some tunes on and we're going to start unpacking and i will catch up with you guys at the end about to leave let's do Already this ready packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it Somehow we can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free kitchen is officially unpacked which I am so excited about everything's in the cupboards nothing's in the right place at all but everything's done all of these boxes are unpacked that is all like the packing material and all of the like finished boxes that I need to take to the recycling center but everything else is finished one room down 
many many to go well it feels like many to go we've got the living room the spare bedroom my bedroom and george's bedroom obviously the spare bedroom is not a priority but i'm just trying to figure out where we're gonna put stuff so let me take you upstairs quickly and show you what i mean so this is my bedroom and obviously we've got loads of furniture in here none of this furniture used to be in here so we didn't have those two drawers i think we had a set of drawers here the other set of drawers was in George's room. We didn't own this, so this didn't used to be in here. And we have to put up a double bed, and I have absolutely no idea where it's gonna go. Um, the room feels a lot smaller than I remember it feeling, so I think it's something to do with all of the furniture being in here. So I think I kind of wanna put the big unit in the spare bedroom, but if I show you the spare bedroom, you'll understand why that's gonna be a bit of a struggle. So if we come out here and go around the corner into the spare bedroom. There's no way I can fit those in here with all of this in here. So I'm like, right, do I start on this, which is not the priority. The priority is to get the bed up, but I can't get the bed up with the furniture in there. So the furniture kind of has to come in here. And in order to do that, I need to tackle this. And yeah, it's a big old task and I just don't know where to start. So I think I'm going to go and grab a cup of tea and then think about my next step. Will I cry? Will I leave behind broken and crumbled signs? Hiding all my roads to you. Uh oh. And if I fight. So my camera died and I hasn't filmed me doing this but you can see that we are making a hell of a lot of progress it still is full of stuff but actually I'm standing where all of the boxes were and I've managed to pop loads of stuff in here thankfully these were all like packed I didn't have to do much I just had to pop them all in the cupboards annoyingly though we don't have a door for this cupboard anymore because the tenants ripped it off when they were living here so anyway we've got that to fix and then i've got all of george's old clothes and things in here these used to be in the garage but we don't have a garage here so they've got to go there some of ash's bits and bobs and some filming bits that i've popped in there and then so annoyingly the movers decided to put all of the things that were in the garage or for the shed in this room um and this is upstairs and obviously my shed where all the things are i've just put them all in there it's downstairs down a flight of stairs and i'm on my own so i had to carry all the boxes all the bags all the stuff on my own and the most annoying thing is none of it was mine it's all ash's stuff he's got so many hobbies that comes with so many things um yeah not happy not a happy shan today but i've popped it all downstairs and now the room is looking a lot more empty still full but not as full i also popped all of the christmas decorations in here i would normally put them in the loft but because christmas is only a couple of months away i figured i'll pop them in here because then i don't have to go up into the attic twice because obviously ash isn't going to be here in december either so i'm going to leave them there and hopefully it's just slightly easier access isn't it and then in this top cupboard i've got a load of stuff again this used to be in the garage this is not tidy in the slightest but these are all old things for george so like really newborn baby things so we've got like this is a Cali baby pillow thing that he used to sleep on on the sofa. That's his baby's own yo-yo two bassinet. And that is a angel care bath support. And then that's a little bouncer thing for his high chair. And then we've also got in here, this is like where the boiler is. We've got his jumper roo shoved in there and then like a box of other baby bits. I'm actually realizing fairly quickly that we don't have as much storage in this house as I remember. And we have a lot more stuff because we've had a baby since then and accumulated a lot of more baby stuff and like I said just because we've got uh, the shed downstairs which is where actually I would have put all the stuff that's actually fill up of Ash's stuff um so yeah this is our shed I've popped all of Ash's stuff in here and I don't know if he's going to be angry with me about it but it's all in here it's all like army stuff guitars fishing camping music like anything he's got so many hobbies and I'm just gonna shut this door 
and forget about it until next year. And I've been calling on my phone. got this room as empty as I possibly can. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with these things. These are things that we left here before we moved house and they've been dismantled and I actually think I'm just gonna throw them because we've got things to replace them now and we don't need this, but I cannot get this furniture down the stairs on my own so I'm going to have to wait until I've got back up to do that and then again, take these things to the tip in the car. So at least they're dismantled to be fair. This is sort of my replacement desk, like the actual desk. You'd have seen that in my previous videos, in my previous home. But all of this stuff needs to go, including the chair. Like I said, I just can't really get that down the stairs into the car on my own. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is move in the Calax unit, the one that's in the bedroom, into here. Then all I've got to do in here is like assemble furniture. We've got the futon in here as well, but that is definitely not a priority. Basically, this is gonna be a room full of dismantled furniture for the time being, and I'm going to focus on the other rooms. But now that it's actually empty of boxes and all of the other things, um, I feel a little bit more organized. It's definitely not how I'd like it, but it's getting there. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is move this unit move the boxes first and then move this unit into that bedroom that we were just in and then i should have enough space to start putting the bed up i've hoovered at everything in here and this room is you know it's not too bad i've unpacked hi guys um i've unpacked all of my bits into the nice wardrobe which is all good um i think i will like move the furniture around a little bit as well but yeah, I'm not too stressed about this bedroom, um, it was just the other one. To be honest, I feel like I'm actually quite on top of things now, which is good. It's definitely not um, as easy as I thought it would be, but it's what it is. I will stay now a couple of days later than the last time you saw me my camera died and then I was just so busy doing everything unpacking and everything that I just didn't pick up the camera so I thought I would give you an updated like a view of all the rooms I'm currently sat in the room that all of the boxes were in the spare room I guess and now it's like my office so I'm gonna show you around I have shown you on Instagram stories but if you don't follow me over there I'm gonna show you around this room now I have also done like the other rooms and things and I will show you around them as much as possible they are not tidy but it doesn't matter we are gonna share the new house as it is at this current stage and then eventually i will properly tidy properly unpack and yeah there's gonna be so many so many new videos because i need to go to ikea to get some storage like there's i'm so excited guys so 
let's show you around my office so as you come into the office this is the little setup i've got going on so the lighting is just on because i've just been filming but this is my little desk it was the same in the old house but this was on this side and that was on that side if that makes sense it's just an ikea desk with a calax unit so it was quite easy to just readjust it i've also got a new desk chair office chair thing um which is really nice it's from ikea as well and it was super cheap i think it's like 45 pounds so that is lovely really comfortable as well i've got the futon here just in case we ever have a guest come over that like folds out onto the floor like a sort of double bed um in the corner we do have this is my tree skirt um for my christmas tree it just doesn't go into any cupboards and i can't get up into the attic because i don't have a ladder who doesn't have a ladder but i don't um and then underneath we've just got a box full of like office -y bits so we've got like the printer ash's speakers and stuff but actually i don't use any of that so i'm just gonna leave it there for now and then we've just got my bits all of my work stuff is in this drawer including just a random teddy of george's but anyway that is everything that i'm gonna need my laptop's out my camera's obviously out and yeah this is my little setup here i'm thinking so obviously i've got lighting there at the moment i've also got a really exciting package that i'm going to be opening at some point this week this is full of bridesmaid dresses that i'm going to be trying on for you guys because i need to choose a bridesmaid dress and i'm really really excited for that one but yeah i haven't opened that package yet so i will do a little try on haul like here and show you sort of what they look like etc but then we come round and we've got a couple of wardrobes this one has drawers on thankfully and this one doesn't it is full to the brim of boxes but this is a light that we need to put downstairs but it, you need to change the electrics and stuff and i have absolutely no idea how to do that so i think i'm gonna wait until ash gets back in december to do that so that's absolutely fine we've got a light shade in there at the moment but yeah this is the little office and i'm really really happy with it i feel like i can actually get work done in here and yeah it's just gonna be really really good so that is the office i can't believe the difference from when we had all the boxes to now obviously i haven't got everything out properly but it's a very very good start for a couple of days into the move the bathroom again is untidy but it is clean and ready to use so george has been having baths and stuff i've been having showers and baths so it's all good but it just needs like sorting out and maybe some storage solutions in there as well we've got george's room so i don't know what to do with this room i really don't so everything is unpacked and he has been sleeping in his cot what i'm doing at the moment because i don't know where to put his cot in this room i've been in the middle in the night when he goes down for a sleep i'll be pulling the cot out so it's not like near anything and he can't reach anything but i'm just really i don't know where to put it because everywhere i put it i feel like oh that's dangerous he can't have that he can't use it so at the moment there's a plug socket down here which has got a cow pole plug in then there's a plug socket down here which has got his monitor obviously then we've got the window which is what is blackout blind up at the moment then we've got a radiator so i'm like where do i put his cot where it's going to be safe at the moment like i said i'm just pulling it out and putting it into the middle of the room so he's safe but I just can't figure out where to put it. Here we've got his drawers. And then we also had this here already. So we just I just popped some of his bits in there. But this was actually here already. So I just kind of reused that. But I just don't know where to put his cot. I was thinking maybe here. But then obviously the door comes out to here. So he would have to start from at least there. But then I think he'd still be able to reach the plug if it was there. If it was against the wall there, then it's up above the window and obviously drafts and things. And at the moment, I've got his monitor plugged in there. It's not That's not a permanent solution. Obviously, I'll put it onto the wall properly, but I just haven't got around to doing that just yet. Um, yeah, I just don't know. And then obviously, we've got the radiator, which isn't on at the moment because it's not cold enough just yet. But in the winter, that will come on. Obviously, not during the night, but it will be on at some point. So I don't want him to be able to reach it if it's hot. Um, yeah, I need your help guys. So I'm going to do like a proper pan of the room and you can give me some ideas as to what you think I should do with the setup. Because you guys gave me loads of tips for his last bedroom. So I'm really, really hoping that you have some like magic solutions. Um, maybe because if I put the cot here, then he'd still be able to reach the radiator. If I put it there, he's obviously a, like underneath the window, radiator, plugs either side. And if I put it here, I think he can still reach the plug. So I'm just a little bit stuck. So let me know what you guys think. But for now, like what I'm doing is just pulling the cot out into the middle of the room, which is a bit ridiculous. But 
yeah, let me know what you think. And then, Molly's going into my bedroom. We have my bedroom, which is pretty much exactly the same as it was before we moved. So we've got the bed, Arista living bed. I absolutely love this thing. It was so easy to put back together. I've never actually put it together myself. I've always had Ash to do it. Oh, Molly's not really supposed to be on the bed, but I feel like <laughs> I'm past the point of caring. Um, it was so easy to put together. I think you saw me putting it together a little bit, but then my camera died. Um, there's so much under that. I'm actually going to show you what's things. Molly, mind out. Mind out. Come on. Good girl. Um, I'm going to show you what things I've got underneath the bed. So I'm just going to pull this up and you'll see all the bits that I've actually popped under here. It's not exactly the tidiest, but I've got my like summer shoes, like sandals and things. Then I've got loads of bedding, like that's a blow up bed and then a single duvet and cover, a throw. And then this is all like double bedding and stuff. And then I've got a couple of pillows and then a big suitcase. But how good is that? The fact that I've got all of this storage underneath the bed, all hidden very happy about that and the other side of the bed we have still just got chaos this is george's old cot i forgot to say that we've changed his cot round um this cot was just i just didn't love it and i thought i'll just get a new cot because this was a second hand on facebook marketplace so was the other one i'm just going to sell this and it will make the money up so that's fine um the only thing is this cot had like solid sides to it it had the bars on the long like long ways and then it had solid bits on the back so actually if we had that cut up he wouldn't be able to reach the plugs and now i'm like oh, have i just made a big mistake but we'll find out eventually um these are ash's drawers and then that's just an empty suitcase i need to put somewhere i'll probably put it underneath the bed if i can and then we've got like our washing that's a fan a little storage cube thing that i haven't even looked in yet um, that's my beautiful friend Beth made me that sign, it says Shannon on it and I don't know where to put it but I will find a good place for it. Um, and then you come around and these are my drawers and then the wardrobe and everything, again not like I haven't styled it or made it look nice or anything but it's functional and it works and then got my big big mirror which I'm very happy about because I can stand and see my whole outfit and yeah. I like it a lot. Just to share a couple of the realities, up on the hallway we do have loads of storage which is amazing but they're not very deep, the cupboards, and also they're very yellow like they need re-glossing really badly but that's a job for another day. In these cupboards is pretty much all just like I've chucked things in so just because the rooms look fairly unpacked does not mean they're unpacked <laughs> because in here yeah, so at the top here, I'm going to show you. I've actually just shoved all of George's things that he's outgrown up here. Um, and it looks like chaos. But basically everything that he's outgrown is up there. All the big things I want to keep if we have a second baby. Or I could just hand them down to people that need them if they have babies or whatever. Then what have we got in here? We've got Christmas decorations in here. <laughs> Literally everything. I just figured there's no point in trying to put it up into the loft because... I can't get in there and also it's Christmas in a couple of months so yeah I'm just going to leave them here for now and then once that is all done like Christmas is done I can put that into the loft and Ash will be back so he can do that but yeah that is a whole cupboard full of Christmas decorations so once that's done I'll have extra storage for some bits. At the top here again this is George's um, next to me cot so I've just popped that up there quite big like I don't really know what else to do with it here we've got a bin bag full of curtains that I haven't put up yet and then I've got some vacuum packed bags of my old I think they're like maternity clothes and things so I've just popped them up there because I just didn't know what to do with them again you can see that I've just shoved things into cupboards and then in this cupboard it's actually fairly sorted I've actually got cleaning bits for upstairs like bleach and like bathroom cleaner and stuff and then I've got all my spare toiletries in there these are toiletries from when I was pregnant slash postpartum I don't want to get rid of them so I'm just keeping them in there towels towels bath mats towels etc and like all the medication stuff and some Tresemme, which I don't even use, but yeah. So that's like all the storage in here. That's the only cupboard I would say that is sorted and the rest of it is just like I've shoved things in. Now we're downstairs and the kitchen is not tidy because I've just dropped George off at nursery. It's his first day today and I hadn't tidied up from breakfast. So please excuse that. And it's still just a bit messy generally, but this is the kitchen. I do absolutely love our kitchen and it's pretty much unpacked other than for these boxes here and all the lampshades I haven't put up yet. These boxes though, I need some storage for the living room ideally to put these bits in. So that's just sort of there for now. Um, and then yeah, this is the kitchen. Like I said, it's a little bit messy. I don't know whether we're going to keep everything where it is currently. Obviously like there's just mess everywhere, but... Other than that, I'm very happy with the kitchen. Everything's out in the cupboards. I'll just basically rearrange things as I go. But um, yeah, that is the kitchen. There's not really much to say there. There is storage underneath the 
stairs which I basically have just again shoved boxes and tools and paint and like random stuff there's so much in there but I'm just not gonna it's not my job I'm not gonna do it I am very much not a fan of what we've done with the hallway but it is just what it is like we had this in the old house this shoe rack thing it looks horrible it was in the porch in the old house so I just thought we've got it so I'll use it but I will do something a little bit nicer eventually um and yeah then it's just a hallway very normal hallway and then i'll go into the living room and show you that so the living room is lovely and big i have got my washing out here so please ignore that got our normal sofa this is pretty much where it was before i think it was a little bit further forward before and we had a unit oh my jeans are up there um we had like a um a french dresser here but we got rid of that in the old house because it was just a little bit too big um and we will push this back but the wi-fi man is coming so i thought i would pull it out but yeah then we've just got this situation at the front we've got these boxes to unpack still um but i just need some storage like i keep saying so there's nowhere to put anything other than this shelf and i just thought that shelf is just gonna look horrible with all of the stuff on it like it does at the moment so i really want some sort of storage solution for this entire wall and i was really hoping again that you guys would come in handy with this basically i just need your help because what i wanted to do is have a like ikea i don't even know what they are but like ikea bookshelf and then another ikea bookshelf and then have like panels on the bottom so that i could open them and close them maybe then just like a sideboard or something at the bottom or some sort of ikea storage solution for the whole thing so like long short and then long we will be putting the tv onto the wall as well because george loves touching it and trying to throw it over but the only issue is there is a radiator here this radiator cover isn't actually on on yeah i've just like lent it up against the radiator for now and you can see that it hovers in thin air at the moment because it's just leaning on the radiator. But I don't know how to do that kind of storage solution with the radiator, how to incorporate it. And ideally, I'd like to do it the cheapest possible option. But I just don't know what to do. And I was really hoping that you guys, because you're so good at this stuff, would give me some solutions. Um, loads of you on Instagram actually said Kallax unit, but I just don't know. I just would really like to fill this entire space and use it as well as possible so that we can use it for all of George's toys, all of the storage solutions that we need, like books and things like that. But yeah, it's just a hard one. So let me know what you think. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that we've done so far. I've Like these shelves were already up and I've just popped on some of my like decor bits um, that would fit on there basically. <laughs> I love that Diagon Alley sign. If any of you guys want one, if you love Harry Potter like I do, then the Diagon Alley sign, I think I got it on Etsy. Um, it was a few years ago though, so I don't think the seller is on there anymore, but I'm sure there'll be others like that. But anyway, that is everything that we've done so far and it is day four of being in the house. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way it is at the moment. I just had those questions really for you guys about what to do for the storage solution and for George's room. They're the two things I'm struggling with at the moment. But in the next couple of weeks, I'm really excited because I'm definitely, definitely going to be taking a trip to Ikea. I will take you around with me if I can or I will do like an Ikea haul and hopefully get some sort of story solution. It doesn't have to be Ikea, but we all love Ikea, don't we? But yeah, that is everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me unpack and try and sort this house out and then what it is like a couple of days after moving in. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.